few men kissing mm -hmm. and he was repulsed by it and people know this who are gay that there are people out there who are sickened and repulsed by our very existence and this guy however he dresses up his bigotry and hatred is somebody who hates gays he hates lgbt people and he had a gun and because of as you say america's gun laws he used that to murder LGBT people. But can we just be clear, just so, because you say it's lunatics and all the rest of it, we've got to be clear, if he went into a synagogue and killed innocent Jewish people, as, as we've got mass uh, people in the past who've done that, disgusting anti-Semitic terrorists, we would call it out for what it is. This person is a homophobic terrorist, whatever else he is, Presumably, he's got some twisted view of Islamic fundamentalism to justify his, even though he's just a, a knuckle-dragging thug and bigot. At the end of the day, this was a homophobic hate crime as well as terrorism. Has to be called out because I have to say, on Sky News and other uh, lots of news channels, there's not been many LGBT voices that I've personally heard myself. And people have to understand, as LGBT people watching this and elsewhere, that they look at something like this, and it is one of the worst atrocities committed against LGBT people in the Western world for generations. Well, it's it's. And it's it has to it's be something out that's such. carried out against human beings, isn't yeah. it? No matter LG, what. No, because no, no, let, no, no, let, no, let's, no. let's, let's, let's just make no. this thing point thing, that yeah. you, you cannot say this is a worse attack than what happened in Paris, where again innocent that. people were I said actually. About LGBT so. people. What I'm saying is, this has to be called out for what it is. It was an intentional attack. Mm. On LGBT people, this well, person on, on the freedom of, of all people to try and enjoy themselves as as bad. No, I'm sorry. Was. Can we just explain? You don't understand this because you're not gay, okay? So just whether listen. I'm gay or not has no. No, it does. It, can you just, it has just no. Listen. It has no I reflection I on the fact that this you have person ownership just killed. Of, you have ownership exactly. of horror of yeah. this crime. Can I just say? Because I find this. I find this astonishing. I'm not. Right. I'm, not I'm not Jewish and I'm not excuse gay. Excuse me. I'm not French. Let's stick. This was horrifying. Let's stick with what I'm being yelled at. Papers are saying about it rather than what you're saying at the moment. But that. That's the headline, ISIL wages war on gays in West. Now, you share that view that basically this was deliberately targeted on one part what of on the community earth? rather than the freedom to enjoy yourself no matter what your sexual orientation is. What are you talking about? This I'm was talking about the coverage in the newspapers. Yeah, I'm, and I'm trying That's to, what we're here I'm for. I'm trying to understand the point you're making. <laughs> this was a deliberate atta attack on LGBT people in an LGBT venue. It was a homophobic terrorist attack. Do you not understand that? No, well, I think, I what I point? Do, I, I it's not some abstract kind of he just picked a random club out of nowhere. He picked a club because it was full of people he regarded as deviants. Okay, That's is, why okay, he attacked the club. I think, I think part of the issue is, okay, this is a, clear, it's a hate crime, this is an act of terrorism, all accept it, it was an attack on gay people. Absolutely, it's horrific. However, uh, my, my guess is this man would probably be as horrified by me as a as a gobby woman as as he would genuinely genuinely this is the thing i we don't know right now we can speculate but we don't know we don't know how much of this is motivated by just his homophobia whether that in I any just, way uh, is related to his religion we heard from his own or is anything we heard, we heard from his own no, father we know about he's his homophobic we why know are we trying to deflect i mean what oh, God, we're not we're not trying to deflect no. we are trying to reflect what can, is being said by the authorities ask, here and, the, and to quote you brought up his father I'm now going to quote from what the Telegraph is saying Mateen's father said his son a US citizen of Afghan descent may have targeted the gay community may have. after becoming angry when Why he saw you saying two this? After, no, after, after seeing two men kissing in Miami some months ago I he don't may have been angered by many other things I'm sorry then, I just find know. this the most astonishing thing I've ever been involved on in television if he'd walked into a synagogue and massacred dozens of Jewish people mm. you wouldn't be saying what you're saying now, We're not saying you'd be he's talking not homophobic. about as an anti-Semitic attack. This was a deliberate attack on LGBT people. It was a deliberate attack on the LGBT community. As, yes, as it was on those people in the past. It's not that, bizarre. Owen. We are trying bizarre. to draw parallels in terrorist <laughs> attacks on people who are being attacked, whether they are enjoying rock music in Paris, whether yes. they are gay and people in Florida attack. enjoying a night out. This was okay? an attack on LGBT, on LGBT people. This was a homophobic can attack. I, can I say that the, one of the issue? Okay, I, I, I completely accept, as, as he does, that it was a homophobic attack. But for me, the issue is there are going to be homophobic people. There'll be people who who hate black people or who hate gay people or hate Jew, Jew, Jewish people. There are going to be people who are lunatics. There are going to be people who are fanatics. Who are lunatics? Stop well, using these possible, words, Julia. Is it possible for me to finish one sentence? If you stop using just, words like lunatic um, to talk a, about homophobic here's terrorist here's attacks. Here's the thing. I'll choose the words I want to use, and you choose the words you want to use. Do you understand? Go right. for it, Julia. Okay, well, thank you. So whoever these people are and whatever their motivations are the key thing is we're always going to have mad and bad people mad in, in and the bad world people. 
And right. the, the key issue is that they can't do too much or any harm. When you have free access to assault weapons right. in, in, in a country like America, then they are able to put their hatred yes, of other obviously. people into effect now and this, do damage. This is an issue That's that President issue Obama me. brought up in his news conference at the White you House see because the we have obviously again an assault rifle that's been used in this particular <laughs> attack. Now, in terms of the political reaction in the United States, we've got Donald <laughs> Trump tonight oh, calling perfect. for all foreign-born Muslims to be banned again from entering the US, but no call for gun crime controls. Now, no matter who you want to target with the attacks, is this, again, a major issue for America, yes. or is it that these people will be able to get hold of, of the weapons wherever they are well, in no, the world? because that's an interesting thing. They don't get hold of the weapons in, in Australia. They don't get hold of the weapons uh, in England. Um, you know, Canada actually has more, more guns per person than uh, America, but they have controls over who can have them. It is absolutely absurd. Look, if America were not going to do something about gun control after yeah. Sandy Hook in 2012, if you're going to watch six- and seven-year-olds being massacred and you don't think you need to act, they are never going and to I act. I think it's I'm right in saying old Compton Street was a nail bomb. Yeah, yeah, nail bomb. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But they're never going to act. But this is it. But, but Trump's reaction, the tweets he's sent out since, have been so beyond acceptable in terms of the reaction of a normal human being, let alone well, someone who wants to be the leader of the world. I think he's called President Obama to resign tonight as well. Uh, let's let's go back. There's, there's something else here in uh, <laughs> the Telegraph coverage which I think we need to, to bring well, up, Owen, in relation to your point. And that is, I think, that we've got uh, a warning, or at least a call from... I'm uh, just going to move it across. Uh, a spokesman for Stonewall uh, saying that people would be feeling vulnerable yes. uh, and basically indicating. Are you going to have an LGBT security... voice talking about it? Interesting. Oh. Sorry? Nothing. Carry on, go on. Owen, oh, seriously. I'm, I'm, I've had enough of this. Let me go home. Owen, no, genuinely. Wait. We're trying to have a civilised conversation. I, don't have it. I, don't I know you're upset. You are yeah, upset. I am. And I'm, you're very upset. I'm, I'm very quite upset. right. Everyone's upset and angry about this, but storming off a TV Sorry. set. Right, well, I right. think we'll okay, continue we the press on? preview uh, yes. and say that clearly. Um, there is now uh, a concern. They've got the London Pride Festival on yeah. June the 25th. Peter Tatchell saying it's always been on the cards. Yeah. However, I, yeah. however um, is the danger, as we've just been discussing, that you focus on one particular area and not the whole uh, threat to our modern way of life. Exactly. I mean, we remember well, with, with Paris, it was, as people said at the time, it was an attack on people having fun. It was people going to a football match, people in a bar, people at a rock concert. Music. This, yeah. yeah, this was a homophobic, this was a horrific homophobic attack. But, and, and I think, you know, an awful lot of, of, of gay and bisexual and transgender people who, who have to walk around with fear. Uh, you know, it's all very well if you live in central London, in Soho, it's probably fine. But actually, an awful lot of people still live in fear. Lots of people yeah. still don't come out and they live in fear. But to have this extra fear, I think it's terrific. And, and look, Last I understand Owen is very, very emotional about it and completely Well, he's, he's decided to leave us, so that, that's his yeah, decision. Let, let me make one last point on this, and that is that we've had ISIS claiming responsibility for this with uh, what was an issue uh, of a statement from their mm. uh, news organisation. Should we take that at face value or basically is there a danger they climb on board of any yes. you know, Although mad actually they've attack. got a history of being quite slow at claiming crimes but in this case because of the 911 call as we've been told by the states we do get a lot more information from American uh, uh, police you know and, and crime you know agencies very much much yeah. more quickly than we do here in Britain and they've come out and said that he he said he declared his uh, his uh, his joining ISIL in his 911 call now when we've heard that, then we'll know. But look, at the end of the day, we have to take people to some extent at face value, if that's what he declares his view is. But that's again, his intent, but again yeah. on the side from the, the, gun, the gun issue, there's also this big issue in terms of, of how much his attitudes are fed by Islamic State or, or by his faith or just by an attitude that has been going on in America lately in terms of transgender use mm -hmm. of bathrooms and like, where there is a development, there is, they, are, they are feeding gay hatred. Coming up, there are uh, other issues in the papers, including the uh, royal events in London today, and also the football, the latest on UEFA and its warning to England and Russia. More coming up in a moment. Stay with us. Welcome to Family Feud.